Um, what if you don't, well, you forget to put a um, cover over your pool um, for winter? What will happen to your pool? Do you have to, like, get a re redo it? Or like, do you have if I forgot to put a cover over no, someone's like, pool? No, like, for, no, no, for, <laughs> like, the owners. What would you, do you have to, like, come in and ba build a new one, or is it it's just mine and you can fix it? Well, pool, um... Because when it freezes... Something might happen to the pool, it like may expand. Well, or... yeah, more than likely what's going to happen is if someone doesn't put a cover on it, which I've had customers in the past, if their pools were pretty bad and they wanted yeah. to renovate it or something like that, they yeah. they don't put a cover on it because theirs was trash. Yeah. Um, but if you don't have a cover, then it, usually if it sits over winter, um, through the fall, a lot of that debris, like leaves and stuff, they're all just going to fall in the pool. And they're probably going to stain the surface, depending on what kind of pool you have, will depend on how easy it is oh, to clean up. So, uh, for the most part, if you don't cover your pool, but if you winterize it properly, where you blow all the lines and whatnot, uh -huh. then usually the biggest thing you're looking at is a problem as far as aesthetics, that it's not going to be clean. It's just going to be cosmetically look pretty bad. Okay. So, if, if it did freeze, you know how um, some water bottles, you freeze them, like, so, um, um, like, sometimes, um, actually, I freeze my Gatorades and turn okay. them into a slushy. Okay. But if you don't drink a little bit, it'll, it'll, it'll explode because, yeah. because, um, you know, what, well, um, ice, it'll well, expand yeah, a little expansive. bit. Does that, does that happen to Well, no, go? because the top of a pool isn't covered. Mm -hmm. So, as it freezes and expands, mm -hmm. they'll rise, but especially with all the, uh, the, um, the snow and the rain and everything since mm -hmm. then, the pool will probably overflow, but... I mean, it may do the same thing if you have a cover on it. Awesome. What will happen to the pipes? Well, if they winter, well, if you don't winterize the pipes, then yeah, that can happen. Um, especially at the system where it's above the, uh, like you said, you freeze your Gatorade. Yeah. Okay. And so you don't take the top off; it over freezes, and the bottle cracks, right? Yeah, the bottle cracks and explodes. Spans too much. Okay. Yeah. So the the uh, the plumbing at the system. If the water is not all drained out of that area, especially since uh -huh. it's exposed to the elements and it really does freeze, those pipes can crack, and I've seen it happen. Uh -huh. um, it's just that they're full of water, and mm -hmm. the water freezes and expands yeah, and, and cracks then, the pipes. Yeah. Um, underground, uh, you want to blow out, you know, as much of the water as you possibly can. But when you get down below the frost level, a um, couple feet uh, underground, then uh, most of the plumbing will be okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I have another question. Um, have you guys ever actually built a, built a pool and a hot tub next to it or something? Or are you guys like a pool and a hot tub together? Or? No, 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 no. Have you guys ever built a, a um, hot tub yeah. like with a pool? Yeah. Uh, uh. Yeah, a lot of times it will run for their systems because... Um, Is you, that harder with a hot tub? Well, it's, it's it's just more plumbing, more okay. a little bit more of everything. Mm -hmm. um, typically, if you're going to have a hot tub in a pool, unless mm -hmm. it's a hot tub that sits all by itself, yeah. you'll build it next to the pool and you'll create an overflow so that the water will flow out of the hot tub into the pool. Yeah. And because since it runs out the same system, it's just yeah. so, so you can circulate all the water at once. Okay. Cool. Bye. Bye.